What's going on guys, Crypto Renegade here. In today's video, I wanted to do a metal recovery seed backup for your crypto cold storage comparison video between two very unique devices. On my left, we have the Engrave Graphene, which is a brand new metal recovery seed backup device. And on my right, we have the Crypto Steel Capsule, which is a few years old. And as you can see, it has a very unique form factor. Stay tuned, you do not wanna miss this one. All right, guys, welcome back. So in today's video, I wanted to do a comparison, a quick comparison of the Engrave Graphene, which is a metal recovery seed backup, and the Crypto Steel Capsule. We're going to cover three categories. I'm going to point out some of the key obvious and different features and security measures, the quality of the materials, and then secondly, I will give you the price of each of these devices. And the third and final category would be which of these devices I would buy if I could only buy one. So let's get into it. Now I'm gonna start here with the Engrave Graphene on my left here as this is the newest device. Now as you can see, the Engrave Graphene is a blank plate that separates into two different plates. Now what this is designed to do is obviously this goes hand in hand and is designed specifically with the Engrave Zero hardware wallet in mind. But what this does is this top plate allows you to transcribe your 64 character hexadecimal private key directly. No BIP39 12 to 24 word recovery seed phrase. So you literally will puncture left to right the corresponding letter and number that is your private key and it goes all the way through. Now what I wanna obviously point out here are a couple of things. Number one, this is de designed to be a decentralized option. So once the private key is transcribed, you can put the top plate that gives you the letters and numbers in one location that's secure and the plate that has all the punctures randomly in another location. Obviously you need both in order to read it or to make it work. So it's very unique in that aspect that you can decentralize and secure your private key. The second thing I wanna point out is on the bottom here, there's a unique eight digit code. What that means is, is there's only a limited number of random letters and numbers here. That does mean that in, in the event that someone finds this bottom plate and they try to order a generic top plate, for example, replacement from Engrave, they will need to have the matching corresponding eight digit code on the bottom in order to transcribe your private key. And there's only a limited number. So again, if they were to buy a generic one, it, they won't be able to steal your private key, which is an extra nice and security feature. The materials on this is a 316 grade stainless steel. What that means is it's a specialized to be resistant towards liquids and, and other sorts of, we'll call them liquids and acids or anything like that. Basically it's designed specifically for corrosion resistance, kerosene, fluids, gasoline, anything that's sort of liquidy, if you will. So for lack of a better word, but uh, this is very unique. And again, use this tool that it comes with to transcode it and transcribe it. That's the engrave graphene. Now on my right here, we have the Crypto Steel Capsule. Now the Crypto Steel Capsule, as you can see, is about four inches in length. It's about half inch in diameter. This is very unique and it also here has a, has a sort of loophole through the top here where if you wanna wear it as a necklace, it looks very inconspicuous. So in the event, I don't know why you would, but in the event you wanted to transport it or to carry it with you across state lines or on an airplane or whatever, it's not very obvious what this is. It's just a sort of metal pipe. Now, if I unscrew this here, you're going to see the form factor. Now, the way that this is designed is that you can also have the 64 character hexadecimal private key, and it gives you these little tiny plates here as just letters and numbers, and you put them in particular order. Now, the, the other thing I wanted to point out here also is that you can do it with a transcribe from a BIP39 compatibility, SLIP39 compatibility. It allows you to mix and match depending on how you wanna transcribe your private key. That way, if anyone does come across this, it will not be easy for them to decode and to steal it. And now, the one thing that I don't like about this, to be honest with you, is 
in order to be careful, in order to actually, in the event that say I drop this and these all come out and they all fall out of order, you're sort of screwed. There's nothing you can do. These are all letters and numbers and characters put in order of my private key. And then they have these little stoppers, as you can see this, it's kind of bent over here and they're designed that you can put them in different breaks. So if you wanna have, let's say you have a 24 word phrase, if you wanna have 12 and then a break and then another 12, you could technically back up two wallets. So there are some unique features. And then of course you have the uh, hole here where you can sort of lock the stoppers and do that. I just wanted to show you in this particular case. Now this is also just a standard uh, stainless steel, so it's rust and corrosion resistant. This is directly made by Crypto Steel, and it's very unique. As you can see, there's no other recovery seed device really like this. But one thing I wanted to point out that it may be difficult to see on, on camera here is that it has different uppercase and lowercase. So in this case, it's an I. It has both the uppercase and the lowercase version, so there's no discrepancy as far as if, it, if it's an I that looks like an L, is it uppercase, is it capital? So they are very clear on that, which I do like. And I also do like that it has a compact and it's a unique form factor. So if I wanna customize it and have multiple wallets backed up on this one device, I can. And I like how compact it is. I can literally just screw it back on, use it as a necklace, I can use it for really anything and it's very inconspicuous. So this is this is very unique. Obviously there are some downsides to this, but if you're looking for a very compact and a very unique form factor that isn't your standard first four letters of the word to steal your private keys, this is also very unique. I'll be honest, these are probably the two most different and unique metal recovery seed backup devices on the market. And these obviously have their own strengths. This is standard stainless steel. This is 316 grade stainless steel. So let's jump to the price. Now again, as a quick disclaimer, before I give you the full retail prices of each of these, I just wanna point out that if you click the links in my description, they will have the most up-to-date information, discounts, promos, whether you're watching this a day from now or five years from now, my links are always gonna be updated with the most up-to-date and accurate information. Now that that's out of the way, the full and standard retail price on the Engrave graphene is 148 euros by itself. In the event that you want to get a combo pack of up to three, that is 548 euros. And then also, if you do decide to buy this with the Engrave Zero hardware wallet, the bundle as of shooting this, which will be made available in February of 2022 or later, is 398 euros. Now, if you get the crypto steel capsule obviously this is a smaller form factor the full retail price as of shooting this is 129 euros again depending on when you watch this video prices are subject to change due to inflation and, and material shortages and so on this is a uk based company and this is a belgium based company both of which are made in europe if that matters to you so i just wanted to point that out now me personally, if I was only going to buy one, I'll be perfectly honest, I personally would choose the Engrave Graphene. And the reason that is, is I do like that I can decentralize my private key and keep them in separate places to keep it even more secure. I did have an experience on my non-demo device here where I actually had the private key and I was trying to read it and undo it and it fell apart and the numbers and letters all got out of order, which became essentially useless. Now, obviously that's my fault. You need to be very, very careful when using this, but that just goes to a normal human flaw in, in its design, in my personal opinion. In terms of the quality and in terms of the idea and the methodology behind it, this is still very good. So if you like the small form factor and you like the customization of different things that you can do with this, including multiple wallets onto one, this is still a very good option. I just personally don't like the user experience. It was obviously didn't work out in my favor. So Engrave Graphene is going to be the winner in this particular case. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything that you want to tell me, please leave it in the comments down below. And then go ahead and click here on your screen to watch my full deep dive video on the Engrave Graphene as this is the newest metal recovery seed backup device and it gives you more information there. And then also will be linked a full playlist of all my comparisons of metal recovery seed backups. So I'll see you guys in one of those videos now. 
Crypto Renegade out.